Hi guys, welcome to part two of my Naples, Florida vlogs. If you're new to my channel, I normally am based in New York City, but my mom moved to Naples, so I'm back and forth, especially during the winter. This week is gonna be really fun. I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff around Naples, a little bit of Marco Island, beaches, farmer's market, dinner with friends, all that stuff. So yeah, comment below if you want more Naples vlogs. Okay, so I'm sitting outside and I just finished where the crawdads sing. I loved it so much, five stars for sure. It's set in a marsh in North Carolina. So it was like the perfect setting for me to read it here. Shout out to my friend Lauren Bach because she actually recommended while I'm down here I'd read it. And I definitely recommend this book, but not if you are like just getting into reading because the beginning is super, super dense. But then it gets like a lot easier to read because in the beginning they're speaking in this like really old fashioned, like thick Southern accent. Um, and it's about a girl who basically is abandoned by her whole family and raises herself on the marsh in North Carolina but there's more to it. Like there's like love stories going on. There's like a murder involved. You know, I love a murder. So I absolutely loved it like a lot more than I thought I would because I started this book like 10 times and then I kept putting it down because I was like, oh my God, what is this in the first chapter? But just stick it out. And so I just finished that and I was at the pool earlier, hence my pool hair. But now I think I'm going to start this Colleen Hoover book. So I'm like a reading machine while I'm here and this book is so not me like this. <laughs> book cover is like my worst nightmare but it was the only Colleen Hoover book that the library had so I just went with it because I just need something to keep me entertained for like the next week while I'm here I don't even know if I'll finish it yeah my mom is at work it's like 5 p.m. now it's the nicest time of day and I am gonna go make like a grilled shrimp salad, which is gonna be good. And then tomorrow I actually think I'm gonna go to the farmer's market again, which I went to last time I was in Naples. And then I'm seeing my college friends who happen to be here visiting. There's like 10 girls that are going to be in Naples. So I'm gonna go out to dinner with them and potentially go out with them. Afterwards, we'll see if I'm up to it. Um, that is the plan. Okay, so I just got back from the farmer's market in my signature. I think I wear this every time to the farmer's market just because it's really easy to like throw on and walk around in. Um, but I want to show you guys what I got because I love falling out of a good farmer's market. First things first, I got a tea while I was there. Then I accidentally spent $21 at the Mediterranean food station. Um, Basically, I got this whole thing of green olives, which I tried, they were really good. And he was trying to sell me on a ton of stuff, but I was like, I gotta limit myself. And then I got grape leaves. If you know, you know, I've just been craving some Greek food. And then when it came to the total and it was time to pay for those two things, it was $21 and I was a little taken aback. And if it was like a New York farmer's market, I would have been like, okay, never mind. Like that's, that's a bit much. But since it was local and the guy was so nice letting me try everything, I was like, okay. And most of it's cash. So that was like most of the cash I brought. I went book shopping, but I didn't see any good used books I like. I thought I got a lot more, I guess, because I was just like walking around for a while, but I guess I only got that the tea and then I got a gorgeous little berry bread that I'll have some of today and the rest for breakfast tomorrow. I've been craving some sort of baked good like that, but I actually gave up cookies for Lent, not in a toxic diet way, but in a way where like that's my favorite um, treat, my favorite thing to get these days. And Lent's pretty long, like Lent is six weeks. So it's not just like, oh no, cookies for a week. Like that's totally normal and fine. But six weeks is like kind of long. I've been at the farmer's market. I've been seeing these like fresh, amazing cookies. Um, so I kind of cheated this time and got this berry bread, whatever the heck, which didn't look as good, but I just had like a craving for sweet stuff. Basically that's what my farmer's market trips are, or just like any random cravings. I almost got pickles. Um, I also saw empanadas, but um, as you guys know, I went over my farmer's market budget, but that's pretty much how it rolls. I just am like picking up random stuff from the different booths. Anyways, it's actually a work day today. It's a Friday. So um, this is kind of like my lunch break. I went from 12 to one and now I actually have a meeting at one. So I've got to jump back on my computer. And then tonight I'm very excited. I'm going to get fully ready and meet my friends. Like a lot of my friends from Elon are here. There's like 10 girls, maybe even more. So I'm gonna meet them at dinner at this place called the Hampton Social 
which is funny because we're all New Yorkers and of course we're going to the Hampton Social. <laughs> um, and then I think we're gonna go out and stuff, but I think I'm gonna drive just because they're all staying together and I'm staying here. So I just don't wanna worry about like Ubering alone at night. So I think I'm just gonna drive myself and just get like soda or whatever, it's not a big deal. So that's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna go back to work now. Okay, so I just got ready, it's later in the day. I want to show you guys my outfit. If you're wondering what that thing is, it's an air purifier because we have a cat and I'm actually allergic to cats. So this is my dress from Fashion Pass and I can put the brand on the screen, I don't know what it is at the moment. Um, so Fashion Pass is rental, by the way, I can link it down below. So this is a size medium, which I like for the bottom half, but the top is definitely too big. It's kind of falling down, um, so wish me luck. And this is the back. Yeah, so you can see it's a little big on the top here, but um, I feel like the back is flattering and then it goes down to like midi length, so like right above my ankles. And this bag is also rented from Fashion Pass. I actually love this. Like I want to keep it. I might buy it. I think it's like $100 retail and then you can get it discounted since it's used. But yeah, I'm just going to put on like little sandals, whatever I can find around the house. And stepping into this room to show you my makeup is like very plain but i just did a ponytail and then i want to show my earrings so these are made well ones um they're only 20 dollars. i've had them for years but now they're kind of like tarnishing so i think i need to get a new pair and then these are by leah jewels on etsy um leah spelled l-i-a not l-e-a and i love these like i wear these all the time they were also like 20 dollars or something um, that's it. So whenever my mom comes home with the freaking car, cause I'm running late now, I will be heading to meet my friends. Very quick update, it's like 20 minutes later and my mom is still not home. So I'm actually getting an Uber cause I don't wanna miss the dinner reservation. That is at seven. It's actually kind of like a far drive between my house and my friend's house. Cause if you didn't know Naples is actually like pretty huge. All of Naples and Marco Island, you can drive like an hour and a half honestly to get to one end to the next. So I'm getting an Uber, which totally changes the vibe of the evening. I tried, okay? I tried to save money and all of that, but it's just not working. So tonight now is going to be a little bit different. Drinks of the season, says us. <laughs> Why is my hat on <laughs> sideways? <laughs> I'm currently on an after dinner walk. Um, it is so nice out. I feel like I'm always showing like this time of day because it's the best, like five to seven ish, golden hour, of course. So, my mom and I went and got pizza for dinner at this place called Joey's on Marco. We love like driving to Marco all the time just because there's like food, it's very vacation vibe. And now I'm just like promenading, walking off. So, that's my update. And then I'll probably just like read and chill at the house. Okay, so that was it for my two weeks, kind of three weeks in Naples, Florida. I hope you guys like these videos. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if I should do more Naples vlogs next time I'm here. I kind of like doing them. I feel like they're fun for me to edit and stuff. They're just like different than what I normally do. But when I get back to New York next week, I definitely want to do some apartment tours of my friends because I kind of haven't been doing those. And then I also am going to be looking for a new apartment. So <laughs> in the next few months, it's going to be a lot of like apartment touring and decorating a new apartment and all that because I was just told that I actually can't resign my lease so definitely subscribe if you want to see that it's gonna be very chaotic but I will see you guys next week and thank you for watching bye